So, welcome to a new episode uh, of the aquaponics systems I have at home. So, this is one big unit. Look at it, with fish in it. They're loving it. Some came in when they were like this big, and now they are like this big. So, they are very huge. They are hiding all the way all the time here. Like Oh, scary stuff. <laughs> anyway, I didn't uh, refresh this water for years. I uh, one and a half year. Zero thing came out. Only water was added. As you can see, fish are happy. I also didn't clean the windows of the aquarium. This is like the fascinating hobby stuff you can imagine when you have an aquarium. Cleaning the window. Uh, it's very awful. But this one keeps very clean. It's like almost nothing, yeah, little spots, but it's not. It's like, yeah, I didn't clean it for years, so it's like, it's like amazing. Snails are booming, as you can see. Love snails. But the plants on top of it. These are air filtering plants, and they are doing nice under one uh, tiny lead with some, uh, yeah lights from the TL light <laughs> fluorescent bulbs anyway but I got another one here a small box with a little fish in it and the thing about this one is that I copied a thing from the University of Wageningen they call a um, bacterial fuel cell now I made my own bacterial fuel cell from aquaponics I thought Hey, I have bacteria also living in uh, this system, and maybe I can produce a little bit of a voltage out of this thing. Now I have been successful creating the butt battery, but this is uh, this one is with. Um, let's see if we can uh, get some more light. Anyway, I made a, um, a membrane from gelatin and salts, sea salts. There's like a small layer on, underneath that is dividing uh, the aquaponics with the layer of water with an air cathode. It's graphite from a pencil. Bought it in the shop. You can ref uh, buy refill graphite core, so that's what I bought. And underneath we have the water. Doesn't matter. Anyway, but we're reducing like this amount of voltage. It's like not a lot. It's like zero eight, and if I shortcut it like this, I will shortcut it with the camera focused on this one. Here we go, and it's like zero, and then it shoots back up to seventy, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, eighty, maybe. Yes, here we go, eighty millivolts. Now, as I hooked it up before, there was like 100 millivolts, so I, but I changed it a little bit of setup, so maybe the microbacterial film needs to be regrown at a certain point. So I will build a little resistance between it and then maybe the bacteria and the electrons that will, is, yeah, you have a kind of bacteria pulling out electrons, you can catch them up. As a H plus or proton is getting through the membrane, there's a hole inside this uh, plastic container that is uh, non conductive. So the H plus goes into the water there, combines with the oxygen on top of it, and makes water again. And then you have a circle, a closed circuit, where you can gain power from uh, aquaponics. So if I Plug this one, another one, two cells uh, to each other, and then I have uh, more power. So but it's ridiculously slow. Maybe I shall build a little blinker that will build up enough voltage to blink a LED for a second. But uh, if you any have any ideas with circuits or something like that, I was already busy with circuits and mud batteries and stuff. It's really fascinating because 
Can you imagine that you can produce food, fish, and power? Uh, that's a really, really, really nice perspective for an industry to have those three products at its core base. So, that was it. Keep the ideas living, keep the plans growing. Subscribe, like, share this if you like it. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I will answer them. Go out. Oh yeah, and it's uh, my uh, little um, sea aquarium with my anemones. They are just gigantic, liking it a lot. And a lot of other... Yeah, where is it? Here's one. Corals. Yeah. I need to clean this one up, for sure. <laughs> I try to uh, put mangrove trees, um, but I was not so successful with mangrove trees. First try, I can always try it again, but uh, these things are hard to come by here in the Netherlands. So, anyway, sea aquarium with enemies. It's really amazing.